My name is Doug Lowen. I'm 32 years old and would like to talk to you today about my journey with the information that Jeremy Griffith has put forward because this, using this explanation of the human condition to understand the world around me and myself has had the most profound effect on my life I could ever, ever have imagined. I had a very typical upbringing growing up on a property in country New South Wales, Australia and then working in the rural industry after leaving school. I was introduced to this explanation through a friend, Will Solder, about 10 years ago and became a member of the WTM about four years ago and moved to Sydney to more directly support it shortly after that. My testament to the truth and power of this explanation of the human condition is also as much a testament to the, all the other transformed life forces you'll see on this website that what they are saying is true and is real and is available for all humans that have read and understood this explanation. Listen carefully to the section where Jeremy talks about the transformation that takes place through this explanation and also to what the transformed life forces have to say because it is through that explanation and their experiences that you'll find the key to living with this all confronting but dignifying and defending truth about ourselves. Humans are without a doubt the most destructive force on this planet. We are capable of the most severe atrocities to ourselves, other people, animals, our environment and the world we live in. Even in Australia, the luckiest country in the world, there are epidemic levels of suicide, depression, murder, rape, child abuse and violence on so many levels is increasing. Humans as a species have become extremely angry, egocentric and alienated. This upset is spiralling more and more out of control with each generation. However, we also know and have seen that humans have an incredible capacity for love, kindness and selflessness and can and have performed amazing acts of generosity and bravery for and towards each other. In truth, deep down we are all striving for and want peace, harmony and freedom and it's through this explanation that this will be achieved. It is through this explanation that humans can be at peace within ourselves, harmonious with each other and our environment around us, and experience the true freedom and all the relief and meaning and excitement that goes with that. I'd like to talk to you about the transformation that I have seen take place in myself, because it is in seeing this that I then understood how powerful this explanation is, and it is through this process that the world's problems can be fixed overnight. I wasn't particularly searching for answers, but when this explanation came along, what really attracted me to it was that it was a, f a first principle science-based idea. It is a simple rational explanation and therefore understanding of why we are the way we are. It is not something you have to put your faith in and hope that it is right. You can use this explanation to understand the world around you and yourself. Testing its validity by putting the concepts into real life situations that we all experience on a daily basis. For me there was always a rational answer for everything and I was never going to accept some ridiculous theory of which there are many out there that could not be tried and tested in my own mind and experiences. My life before knowing about this explanation was heading down a very typical road but once I knew about this I started to see the human condition in the world around me and why everything was the way it was. That was a massive relief for me because before knowing this everything was so confusing. Nobody would talk about anything except the weather and other mindless chit chat. Everyone walks around denying that there are any problems and to be a man in the world you just had to knuckle down, get on with it and become toughened to everything life threw at you. After understanding the explanation for a while the focus shifts and you start to see the human condition within yourself. And it is at this point that you end up in the Mexican standoff with this explanation. Because your resigned self will not accept any criticism, even though the explanation actually dignifies and defends our resigned position, it still sees it as a negative. I don't want to talk too much more about what is known as the Mexican standoff in the WTM. Other than to say if you find yourself in that position, don't worry. It gets a whole lot better and it will only be a matter of time before you'll be able to see the true power and beauty of this explanation. Now I'd like to talk to you a bit more about how I moved from the Mexican standoff position to the transformed position. Firstly you have to understand that the information is true 
and you have to test it enough in your life, um, your own life experiences enough to see this. Um, this process will come quicker in time, um, so that's not a problem. The next part for me pieced together over a few days. Um, the first thing, Polly can put up the paradigm picture. Um, the first thing that I saw, or really bottomed out on, I guess, was the this this bigger picture of where humanity's at and where we've been. Um, two million years is a long time to be suffering under the duress of the human condition. And it, a friend just sort of was talking about it one night and it, it is just where humanity's at, um, which is just an extraordinary thing to bottom out on. And, um, and the thing that really sort of latched in my head was and it, it's no one's fault, you know. It's just where humanity's at and it's it's just what's been going on for two million years. It's no wonder everything is the way it is. Um, and if you can sort of look at it in that light, it just sort of explains why humans are just on such a bender in, in so many different directions. And without that, without understanding in that, in that um, journey that you would, we are going to end up in a position like we're in, basically. Um, and it's no one's fault. It's just, it's just the journey humans have had to go on. But thank God we've now got the truth and the explanation as to why it's happened. Um, the next thing I saw was, I sort of basically, the, in my mind, there's two ways that I can think. Um, and this this picture is really good at sort of explaining that and. Um, it'll come into context here as I go on. Um, one way is the rational, logical way that everyone knows we've gotten. Um, you can understand Jeremy Griffith's explanation that he's put forward. You can understand who Jeremy is. Um, you can understand why he and other unresigned thinkers could um, delve into the forbidden realm of the human condition and dig out the truth. Um, and you can understand to some extent, I can understand to some extent why I am the way I am um, and sort of what shaped me and, and moulded me into who I am now. The second way to think is the resign way. Um, this way just totally rules the roost. It defies logic. It doesn't want to listen to that. It throws its weight around. It's manipulative, conniving, compromising. It'll do anything to get a win or prove that it's good and not bad. It's insatiable, it's never satisfied, it'll, it just always wants something else, it'll get one win and then it'll want another one, always on the lookout. It'll never back down, it'll just have grievances forever and that resigned way of thinking is never going to accept that it's resigned. Um, it'll, it'll always argue the toss and it, it'll never be happy and um, from my package and my sort of whole strategy of trying to look soulful and trying to be what I'm not really all I'm doing is keeping everything at bay all day and um, to, to admit that you're resigned is the biggest blasphemy for my resigned brain basically which I guess is for everyone's but um, once you, you can see see those sort of two ways of thinking for me anyway once I could see that I was out of my resigned bubble I, I was in this this realm here where you're looking back in and and you're seeing um, that whole framework that you've worked through nothing will ever happen through that through that framework and it's at that point that you're out of your bubble here yeah you're looking back in and here you know um, and you're seeing seeing it for what it is and just seeing that it's okay seeing that it had to be that way um, you're just another resigned human after two million years of the human condition. But once you're in that position, you're not being owned by it in this position anymore. You're in this position here. Um, you can also see that it's defended. You can see that it's explained. You can, you can see that it's over. You, you don't have to live through that anymore. And you also see that you don't have to face it down. You don't have to confront all the human condition within yourself. 
and you can just let it go. You can just like that. The best way I can describe it is I just moved on and it never came with me. It just stayed there. Um, and from there, everything just opens up. It, it, it is quite extraordinary how uh, you just start living for something other than yourself and um, and what you're living for fixes the world's problems and it, it, everything just becomes amazing. Um, if we can put the chasm picture up, Paul. I love this chasm picture because it's... Um, uh, when I sort of broke through, uh, I had a real vision of just coming out of a big swamp and just coming into a beautiful meadow with green grass and it was everything is just so relieving that it's exactly like Jeremy says where it's like taking woolen jumpers off and everything it just rips away from you and the relief is unbelievable. It really is amazing. And I thought about that that coming out of the the swamp thing and. Um, I thought, oh, then I sort of was thinking a bit more about it. And it's like, yeah, that's really, you know, that's so great. It's just such a shithole back there. It just kept going forward. Um, and then I thought, oh, it's exactly like Jeremy's coming out of the cave. And um, it's exactly like his, the, the uh, macro picture of the hills. And so anyway. Um, and you end, you just end up on this bit of a road. You just start trudging out of here, and you just keep walking forward. And then you just get on this road straight across the chasm, and and you end up out in the sunshine. And it, it it is extraordinary. Um, just the fact that you can be free of your own human condition and and, and free. You've got no worries or no noises in your head. You know, it's just gone. Um, you can just work away, no, nothing in the back of the mind nagging away, you just do your work and be happy singing, whistling away. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, it, it is for everyone and there is no odd human out there that can't access this. <laughs> You're not the only one, that, the one out of six billion that can't access this. Um, everyone, it is there for everyone. And, um, the beauty of that cabin picture, <laughs> I was thinking the other day, is that it's got a bridge going over it, you know. Jeremy didn't draw a little ladder going down into it, <laughs> and then you have to trudge through the bottom and climb the ladder <laughs> back up on the side. <laughs> He's got this awesome bridge going straight across it. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> um, just the. Um, just knowing that you don't have to live out that strategy and it doesn't matter what strategy you've got it either you can be anything um you can just bundle it all up into one big package and just leave it behind and just head across that bridge it's all explained it's all dealt with the, the information and or the explanation does that and you can just be so free of it it's incredible and the excitement that flows from that that is quite amazing. Um, you can't sleep. I mean, I, I, I just... I, I would go to bed thinking about this transformation process. I would wake up in the morning and the first thing I'd think of is the transformation process. <laughs> um, I'd be waking up at 4.30 and just thinking for an hour or so and then jumping out of bed at 5.30 and say, Polo's got to get up and go and go to work. <laughs> um, and the excitement is relentless. I don't know where it's going to settle down for you can tell me fully. <laughs> um, I ended up getting a cold sore in the first week of that before we get all run down. <laughs> but I was freaking wasn't sleepy and I'm waking up at four o'clock in the morning every morning and <laughs> poor old body wasn't quite coping with it. <laughs> Couldn't quite keep up with the brain. But uh, anyway, um, the 180 degree switch in, in the thinking is what really amazed me. You go from being confronted by the information and Jeremy and the, the explanation and basically because your resigned self can't deal with it and, um, and being confronted by the transformed life, life forces and the transformation process to just, you can't stop thinking about it and 
that any spare moment your brain's got, you, you don't even sort of, it, it just clicks in itself and that's all it wants to think about and that's all it wants to promote and that's all it wants to support. Um, and all that ego and that need to prove yourself and it just goes and you can just walk around free to do whatever you want to do. <laughs> um, and the buzz you get after talking to someone about it or talking about it is just incredible. It's, it is amazing. Um, and that, that is one thing that I've, I've just found so extraordinary, that, just that switch in your brain. Um, and so through this process you can change, your, change from living your life through a competitive, egocentric, insecure, meaningless framework to being able to live happy and content with who you are and a meaningful and incredibly exciting life. Um, I just thought I'd write out, read out this little bit of writing. Uh, I wrote this late one night um, after lying awake for several hours, <laughs> being so excited, trying to calm myself down. Um, but I couldn't, it was about 11.30, so I'll just read it out now. I'm just so excited, I can't sleep, I'm about to burst. I was in the shower and a hook on the curtain had fallen off, so I put it back back on and got an amazing feeling of meaning. And I got out of the shower and just looked around for something else I could fix, because that is what we get to do. And I just can't believe that after eons of generations, we're the ones who actually get to participate in fixing the world up. It's just unbelievable. There is so much to do, I can't wait to get into it. Even though I know you did, especially Jeremy, I have this feeling of, you didn't tell me it was this good. <laughs> I'm starting to feel selfish because all I can feel is how good it is that it is finally all over. We're out of there, let's go. I've got this image of marching straight forward with incredible purpose, straight out of a massive swamp into long green grass with flowers and butterflies and sunshine and never ever looking back. Just keep marching forward. Everyone together, we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs>